This is NDTV. And you are watching NDTV Prime. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Property Show North Edition. I am Chana Kebatia and with me in the studio is Akash Bansal, Business Head North and Director of Lysis for us who will take your specific questions and call out top projects in every budget. And before we take your queries, let's see what all we have lined up for you today. A home for every budget in the main property markets of Noida starting at 45 lakhs. A look at affordable properties under 50 lakhs in Greater Noida. Noida Greater Noida Metro construction runs ahead of its schedule. We find out how will it change the region's real estate dynamics. We will explore options for plots and independent floors in Faridabad under 90 lakhs. We will also find out top three reasons why buying a home in Golf Course Extension Road in Gurga would make sense. Prime property in Zirakpur near Chandigarh that are worth your money. And buy your dream home this Diwali as Housebolo.com and JLL brings to you exclusive deals from India's leading developers. A sneak peek on the show today. And it's time to start taking your queries. We have our first caller, Brother Afaq, joins us on the phone line. Yes, Mr. Afaq, go ahead with your query. Hi, uh, I just wanted to check. I'm looking for an option in sector 79. Okay. I have seen this Ajinara, the Belvedere. Okay. So, uh, just wanted to check uh, what will be the better option in mm -hmm. that area. So and uh, what is it is approximate mm -hmm. uh, 55 to 70. Okay. So, Akash's budget is good enough for that particular micro market, and also he has uh, shortlisted one project. What do you think about it? Uh, see, Chanakya, before getting into a particular project, I would say that, you know, uh, the, the sector that he has chosen, sector 79, is a very good sector to mm -hmm. invest into. Because if you look at the location, the location is very well connected through Noida Expressway, Great Noida, Greater Noida Link Road, and it is very well connected to the rest of the Delhi NCR region. And if we if we look at, you know, Noida city centre, it's hardly 5 kilometres, and Atta Market, which is a famous uh, Noida market, is hardly 10 kilometres from this particular area. And there's a lot of employment opportunity and employment have like you know it has a TCS, IBM, Fujitsu and you know there are many IT companies within the reach of this particular micro market and if we look at the numbers you know this uh, Noida Greater Noida Link Road market where this is sector 79 is uh, the total number of around 84 projects is there in in this micro market with a total supply of around 71 to 72,000 units with the unsold inventory of around 21,000 units the inventory overhang in this micro market is in the range of 69 months with a weighted average price ranging around 5,400 to 5,500. So this micro market has seen a negative of 1.3% annual growth uh, in uh, uh, last three years. Now, uh, you know, coming down to a particular project that he has chosen, uh, see Ajnara, uh, this uh, Ajnara India Limited's private uh, um, project, the Belvedere, is, uh, uh, is ranging somewhere around 4,300 to 4,475 rupees. It has a total inventory of around 700 units. It has a completion deadline of 2019. So, uh, you know, you need to be cautious about it because there, the work is uh, slightly uh, moving uh, in, a, in a slower pace and there's a significant, there's a, you know, uh, construction delay risk uh, also into the, in this project. However, the project location is very good and, you know, if you want to invest into the particular project and looking at the timelines in the range of 2019 to 2020 so then you can go ahead with this particular project however you can also you know explore opportunities which are ready to move in or which are nearing completion like one of them is esotech windsor court uh, which is at sector 78 it is ranging somewhere around 4900 to 5200 rupees a square feet uh, with a total inventory of 728 units so this is uh, this is one uh, project which where you can invest in and uh, second project which you can look at is a sika Kar uh, karmic greens uh, this is also at sector 78 with that price ranges somewhere around 4,800 rupees a square feet. So it has a you know different typologies, different unit sizes, starting from 585 square feet to 1910 square feet. So depending upon your budget, you can actually invest into any of these two properties. However, if you are looking at Ajnara properties, that is also a good property, but you'll have to wait uh, for the possession in that particular property. 
and uh, even akash it's uh, you know better that you should buy a property which is ready to move in or nearing completion and maybe the price point might be attractive for the ajnara project too uh, absolutely uh, chanakya the reason uh, in this present market is you know uh, even the ready properties are uh, you are getting a better deals in mm -hmm. the ready properties also and if you go and you know discuss with the developers it there are chances that you can you can uh, get it at a better prices okay. so it is always better to get into uh, ready to move in or nearing completion properties okay summing up uh, your shortlisted option the belvedere by ajnara india limited gets a go ahead from our side also you can look into esotech winsor court by esotech limited and the third project which is there in your budget sikka karmic greens by sikka group now we have rohit on the phone line yes rohit go ahead with your query yeah hi uh, uh, my query was regarding uh, the effect, uh, i was trying to invest in uh, sector chais in in greater noida and i want to get the prospect of that uh, as an investor uh, uh, basically on the rental yield as well as uh, uh, how will it be uh, from uh, a uh, 3 to 5 years uh, horizon perspective okay okay we'll help you on that uh, so akash what do you think about this particular project we which he has since 2009 he has invested it in and uh, do you think there will be rental yields in that particular market it's a not a very good market at this point of time but there are some indications that this market will pick up in future yeah uh, see if you look at the rentals the rentals in this micro market for a 2 and a half to 3 bhk largely ranges between 8500 to uh, 10000 rupees uh, um, per unit uh, per month and uh, if you look up, if you look at the resale or a capital price that ranges somewhere around 3500 to 3800 rupees a uh, square feet you know but the market is slightly sluggish in this because there is a lot of inventory in this micro market and uh, this micro market which we call uh, uh, yamuna expressway or a greater noida center micro market is largely picking up market and uh, in the time to come because of its connectivity with the rest of delhi and cr um, so th there are chances that this market is going to pick up so you'll have to wait and watch and uh, we would recommend that you hold on this property for somewhere around you know uh, around uh, a year or so so that uh, you can uh, start getting good uh, uh, returns out of this uh, property and uh, in the meantime you can you know give this property on a, uh, on a, on a Uh, rental and uh, the the plus point with this property is that this is a ready to move in property and uh, if you talk about if you look at the numbers of this micro market that will give you more comfort about this micro market is the total projects in this micro market are around 82 with a total supply uh, around 57000 units uh, with the unsold inventory of around 20000 units so uh, weighted average price in this micro market is ranging somewhere around 3500 rupees and uh, annualized return uh, it has been observed that uh, annualized return of 2% has been uh, observed in this particular micro market so we would recommend you to hold on this uh, investment for some time because you won't get a ready buyer and if you get a ready buyer there will be a lot of negotiations and you won't get the desired price uh, when you go to sell this property okay so our take is that you should hold the property talks about the second airport at jaiwar is in in the last stage which will certainly fuel growth in this region meantime look for tenants and uh, rent the flat for monthly income Next we have an email from Anush Tyagi his budget is around 45 lakhs he wants a ready to move in 3 bhk option in on Noida expressway also he wants to know whether he can get a society flat in delhi in the same budget akash i guess that's certainly ruled out delhi this budget you cannot get a flat yeah definitely it is very difficult to get a you know a two even two and a half or a three bhk yeah. flat in this budget so noida expressway market is a good market to explore uh, for that particular reason but in this macro market also uh, i have a concern that you know you won't get a three bhk in 45 lakh rupees a budget so either you will get a, a two bhk smaller two bhk size or you will have to increase your budget uh, up to around 60 lakhs to get a good three uh, uh, bhk in this particular micro market because this micro market has you know Uh, picked up well uh, there's a lot of employment opportunities in this micro market and this noida expressway is actually connecting noida greater noida delhi and cr um, in a in a very in a very good way and if you look at the it its scz there are large number of operational it its scz and there are many uh, it companies which are actually coming up in this particular micro market increasing the so that is why the prices in this micro market are increasing and uh, and there's a noida greater noida metro which is also uh, Uh, you know proposed and we 
will definitely boost the real estate market in this uh, particular area. And when we talk about the numbers, you know, it, the micro market has around total uh, 42 uh, projects with an inventory of around 41,000 units, with the available units of around 14,000 units. Uh, this micro market has a weighted average price ranges somewhere around 5,400 rupees a square feet. This uh, this area has seen an annualized return of uh, upward of 3% uh, uh, per annum in last three years. So uh, when we when we come to a project when where, wherein we can recommend you a good two BHK in 45 lakh rupees or a three BHK in 60 lakh rupees. So uh, one project is uh, Sikka Karnam Greens, wherein uh, this is in sector 143B, and the price here is around 4,500 rupees a square feet, and you will get a two BHK ranges from 840 to 1150, which can you know it, the smaller units uh, you will get it in 45 lakh rupees range, and the three BHK you will get in the range of 1250 to uh, 1480 square feet and the second project which you can look uh, which you can look at is a uh, uh, ridge, ridge residency by uh, today homes uh, so th this is in sector 135 and this is partly completed so possession for some of the tower has already been given by the developer and here also you will get a 2 bhk uh, smaller unit of a 2 bhk 930 square feet uh, in your price range and the 3 bhk around 1500 square feet uh, uh, you will get and the plus point of this location is that this is very close to the operational SEZ wherein you know there is a ready employment. Uh, the third project which you can look at is in sector 143 uh, Blossom Greens by Logics Group. So here also you will get a 2 BHK in the range of 860 uh, to 990 square feet and 3 BHK in the range of 1350 to 1550 square feet. So the possession of this project uh, uh, will be in multiple phases and will start, uh, developer will start giving possession by mid-2017. So you can invest into any of these projects. Okay, summing up, three projects which we uh, are bringing it for you, a Sikka Karnam, a Greens by Sikka Group in sector 143B. Ridge Residency by Today Homes and Infrastructure Private Limited. Uh, and the last option which you have in your budget is Blossom Greens by Logics Group in sector 143 itself. At a time when we are bombarded with news of major infrastructure project being delayed, here is some good news. The Noida Greater Noida Metro Link may actually be completed before time. And if that happens, the Noida and Greater Noida property markets will get a major boost. Let's check out this story. 30 km long link connecting Noida and Greater Noida, the Noida Greater Noida Metro Line is being eagerly awaited by million. It will have 21 stations starting from the city centre station to the depot station in Greater Noida, making commuting a whole lot easier. And the best part, the Noida Metro Rail Corporation is sparing no effort in ensuring that the Metro Line will be made operational before the set deadline. Noida Greater Noida Line, which is expected to be, uh, as per DPR, to be completed in April 2018. Four months before that, we'll open it for the public and it'll be record. 30 kilometer line in one go never has been opened in the country. Work on the line is proceeding quickly. The trial runs are expected to start next November and so far, nearly half of the project has been completed. Uh, the civil works are being monitored on a daily basis. As you can see from this chart, the civil construction started in May 2015 and uh, the substructure works that is below the ground uh, approximately 90% piling and pile cap works are complete. Around 60% piers have been done. Overall, we have a progress of 45% for civil works and we target to complete the entire civil works by July 2017. Planning ahead, NMRC officials are also working on developing a support system for commuters and for the group housing projects along the stretch. Metro line which runs along the side, there are lots of group housing commercial malls, institutional industries, institutional areas. So what we are doing, from each uh, metro stations, we are giving a direct skyway connectivity to these uh, group housing or commercial establishment or institutions. Giving another reason to cheer for Noida home buyers and developers, work on the second line till Noida Extension and Noida Expressway will also start soon. Developers too are happy with the way things are moving forward. As per experts, metro connectivity provides a positive impetus to the micro markets and metro line getting constructed before time will be a selling point for developers in the region. Chana Kipatia for NDTV. Back to your queries now. We have uh, Anil Kumar Singh on the phone line. Yes, Mr. Kumar, go ahead with the query. Yeah, just, uh, good evening, Mr. Anil Singh here from Lucknow. Just uh, looking on uh, some previous case lab. Okay. Here about uh, our uh, any... Just like Allegan's or uh, 
near road area mm-hmm. around 60 lakhs budget is there okay so which micro market akash is best suited for him in this budget uh see his budget is a good budget from a lucknow market point mm-hmm. of view and i would recommend that you know he should go for a south lucknow which is a, which is an emerging area which is very well connected to sultanpur road kanpur road and raibareli road and amar shahid path is a, is a, is a major uh, infrastructure initiative in that particular area that has connected all these roads and has provided a very good connectivity with each other so uh, and uh, you know uh, if, and if you look at you know uh, sushant gold city which is spread over more than 6400 acres is there with a lot of hospitals uh, schools and other social infrastructure so uh, when we talk about the numbers you know this micro market has around 80 projects with a total inventory of around 32000 units with the unsold inventory of around 3000 16000 units so the uh, if we talk about the weighted average price this micro market has a weighted average price of around 3300 rupees a square feet with the annualized return of 2.8% per annum in uh, last 3 years so we can we can suggest some good options in this particular area so uh, i would recommend you know you should go for either ready to move in or a nearing completion projects because you know you will you will not go to uh, see too much of a price differential in uh, ready to move in and the uh, and the delayed or uh, or the deferred properties so first project is eldigo sobhagyam uh, which is in vrindavan colony so you will get it in the price of price range of 3500 rupees a square feet and this project has a total inventory of 956 units so you can get a, a good 2 bhk of around 960 to 1720 uh, square feet and a 3 bhk range is from uh, 1260 to 1613 square feet so you can invest into that so second project which you can look at is R- RG Euphoria by RG Infra City. Uh, so this price range is uh, 3,500, and this is a smaller development uh, of 200 units spread over, uh, built on uh, around 2.5 acres of land parcel. And uh, the, the possession of this is likely to be uh, by end of 2016. So the third project you can look at is a Sushant Jeevan Enclave. This is a part of uh, uh, Sushant City uh, de- being developed by Ansal API, and this is on uh, Ansal uh, Amar Shahid Path Road. and the price here is slightly lower because the possession is likely to be in 2018 so the price here is 3100 rupees a square feet and it has a total inventory of 300 320 units so uh, you can invest into any of these the third project is you know it is a part of a bigger township which has a uh, which has a you know medanta super specialty hospitals it hub and uh, best price as a uh, as a amenity is being uh, offered and being uh, you know developed in this particular area so you can invest into any of these projects okay so we are bringing you three projects uh, they have good amenities within the townships also social infrastructure is in place near these uh, projects so the projects are eldeco sobhagyam by eldeco infrastructure which you can look into also you can look into rg euphoria by rg infra city and the third project recommendation from our side is shushan jeevan enclave ansal shushan city by ansal api Now time to slip into a break after we come back we will tell you why is it worth buying a home in golf course extension stay tuned to find out and we will also call out prime property options in zirakpur near chandigarh 